Yes, I did. I don't think I realised it until, I don't know when the time came, but at some point I said I'm going to be an actor. I was, of roughly speaking, the first generation that grew up with films. One used to go out to the flicks. But I grew up with films, and that's what I wanted to do and to be, was a film actor. But, of course, it went another way, because the basis of all acting in this country when I started, was uh, theatre. From Oxford University um, to the theatre to then uh, television, film and, and radio, it's a, a big leap. It was an easy step, oddly enough. It was so much easier for us in those days. 1948, I finished at Oxford, having gone back after the war, because I did a bit in the war when mm -hmm. I was half in uniform and half, uh, you know, just a year, and then came back to finish after the war, which was quite a smart move where uh, quite a lot of my close friends, for instance, Richard Burton, who really rather wanted to come back to Oxford but didn't because he was offered things on film and in the theatre mm. and he went straight back to work. I didn't, which was quite smart because of all the ways that do present themselves into acting, one of those just after the war was to be seen by the talent spotters from the West End of London in university productions. And uh, I was seen and slipped straight into Stratford, January 1949, having... Not a bad start then, really. No, it was wonderful. Just wonderful. Stayed there for three years and learnt, began to learn my craft. And, of course, over the years, you've worked with uh, some of our legendary performers on stage and in, in film and on television. You uh, were, of course, in film with Sir Richard Burton, amongst others. Yes. But um, how did you feel when, the, when you actually appeared in your first film? <laughs> the first film, I think, that I made, I made in America. And uh, I felt rather privileged because it was a time when there weren't many English actors getting jobs out in Hollywood. Hollywood had just decided, I'm talking about the middle of the 50s, something like that. Uh, Hollywood had decided that um, the cheap way to make movies was out, out and away abroad in Europe, Spain, all that sort of thing. I did a film for MGM and we were the only film mm. on the whole of the MGM lot, which was like a city in itself. The place was really quite empty, so I felt very privileged doing it. And I got a, an Englishman attached to the American Navy during the war, submarine film, and um, they wanted one English, young Englishman, and uh, I got it. Over the years, you appeared in so many different things. I actually remember a very, very good series that you did for ITV, I guess early 70s, with some great names, Philip Maddock, Peter Barkworth. Oh, yes. Manhunt. Do you Manhunt. remember that? Yes, I do vividly because it was one of the best things that I've ever been engaged on and it came at a time when I suppose they weren't repeating things. Uh, so it's never been seen again as far as I know. No, and it is a shame. Oh, I'd love that thing to go out again because the scripts were absolutely brilliant. And I, I guess everybody always talks to you about All Creatures Great and Small, which, which was a landmark series for you and, and for many others really, mm. wasn't it? Yes, it was. Such a popular series internationally, but which really surprised me. I think it surprised most people who were concerned. But I was particularly surprised because when I was asked to do it, I thought that would be great fun. We'll mm. do nine months' work on the on 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 it, nine or whatever it was, thirteen, I suppose, episodes, and that'll be that because it'll bore the townspeople and irritate the country folk. And somehow it slid between, you know, it just uh, tightroped between the two. It quite amused a lot of people. And obviously the books were so popular anyway. That, Tremendous uh, Yeah, books. absolutely. I mean, it, that was, that's what accounted for the success, was the charm of, of the stories, which uh, Alf White, James Herriot, told. And we got so close to them, uh, the real people. Mm. I got very close to the real Siegfried, although he hated what I did. <laughs> But uh, my, <laughs> my reward was that most of his friends said, uh, don't tell him I said so, but you got him. <laughs>